Stretching from the shores of the Mediterranean Sea on the east to the Atlantic Ocean on the west, this international mountain range is 430 kilometers long. Today we're taking a closer look at the Pyrenees Mountains. Welcome to Earth from Space. The Pyrenees form a natural border between France and Spain, with the small landlocked country of Andorra sandwiched in between. The area pictured in this image was taken in January 2022 and spans around 120 kilometers from the village of Escalade in the east to Panticosa in the west. Located in the Spanish province of Huesca lies Pico de Aneto, the highest mountain peak in the Pyrenees. It rises to an elevation of over 3,000 meters and is also the third highest mountain in Spain. Geological studies have revealed that the Pyrenees Mountains have been around for longer than the Alps, with their sediments first deposited in coastal basins during the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras. The entire mountain range formed due to the upwelling of large sedimentary rocks by the collision of the Iberian and the Eurasian plate around 100 to 150 million years ago. Snow covers many of the peaks year-round, especially those in the center section of the chain. The Western Pyrenees typically receive greater precipitation than the Eastern Pyrenees due to moisture blowing in from the Atlantic Ocean. The mountain range is also home to several small glaciers, as well as many mountain lakes and some of the highest waterfalls in Europe. This includes Gavigny Falls, which at 422 meters is France's highest waterfall. Few people live in the Pyrenees as highest elevations. However, Andorra is nestled among peaks near the eastern end of the chain. With an area of around 468 square kilometers, Andorra is the sixth smallest country in Europe. The Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission is designed to play a key role in mapping differences in land cover, to understand our landscape, map how it is used, and monitor changes over time. As well as providing detailed information about Earth's vegetation, it can also systematically map different classes of cover, such as forest, grassland, water surfaces, and artificial cover like roads and buildings. <laughs> 